One really interesting thing about my career is I really started it in earnest when I had a two-year-old. So I guess I wasn't really thinking this through, but I thought, you know, two-year-olds are very portable and why couldn't I just take her on tour? So I recorded my first uh, studio album when she was two and I started booking my tour. And that started, I think when she was three, I started touring around California. And I had a lot of contacts up in Northern California because that's where I was from. And so I just decided I'm gonna book some tours up there and I'm just gonna bring her with me because she's in preschool and I can just, you know, bring her along. And so I actually worked it out. So we had like this tour of three generations. My mom came and my daughter, Julia was three and we would drive around to the different locations, a lot of which were at churches for me, uh, coffee shops, community organizations, stuff like that. So they were really child friendly, although she got super bored of watching my same performances over and over again, especially because I was doing um, kind of a, a theme based um, like signature concert where I was speaking as well as singing at a lot of places until so she's heard it about a billion times, right? So she would just say, grandma, please, can we go to the park? And so they would go out and go to the park while I was performing, but they would always be back for the end because I needed help at the merch table. And so that was really actually really fun for her because she started learning how to set up the merch table before they would go to the park, before the performances. And she would be able to like, you know, point people to the different CDs that they might be interested in and um, point people to the email list and stuff like that. And she would stand there and just look cute. And then everybody would want to come say hi to her. And then, oh, wow, they're at my, my merch table. They might as well buy something. So I thought that was actually like an unwitting marketing tactic that I had a small child at the table. And also, you know, she really started to, to learn like what it's like to have a business and, you know, to sell things and stuff. So that was, I think, a really great experience for her. And some other fun things is, you know, we were, we were driving all over California, so she got really, really good at spotting a Starbucks because she always wanted a Starbucks hot chocolate when we were in the car. And she could spot them from like across the freeway. She could see a Starbucks before we ever even knew it was there. Um, so that was kind of fun. And I think it really, it really taught her some good lessons about you know, what it is to be a self-employed person and to just really believe in what you're doing and have following your passion as a focus and how you can make it work. Even if you aren't, you know, doing this on your own, if you've got family already, you can make it work. And so I think that was a really good lesson for her as a child. And even as I had my second daughter, um, I brought her to a few concerts as well and it got a little harder with two kids at that point and that's when I kind of stopped touring as they got a little bit older but I remember one time with my second daughter that she uh, forgot to bring an extra pair of pants of course and she had an accident in the car well, I think she was potty training at that point and I got to the place I was performing at a Mother's Day tea and I was like does this church have a preschool? Is there any way you guys have extra pants? <laughs> and sure enough, they dug out some extra pants for her so she could, you know, go and, and go to the park without having wet pants. So you got to be flexible when you bring your kids on tour, but it's absolutely doable.